Sergey Belikov, CEO of Parallels. Nice to see you again, Sergey. Nice to see you too. Welcome. Have you been to this conference before? Yes, certainly. Every time it was there. It's getting bigger. It's getting bigger and bigger, yes. Yeah. Do you think you'll go on any of the roller coasters or anything while you're here? No, I don't like roller coasters. No, <laughs> we just went it, on one. It's and enough it was, for me. Yeah, same here. So anyway, down to business, which is the reason we're here. I want to talk to you uh, mainly about Parallels. To begin with, how is Parallels working with uh, your ISVs to enable uh, SaaS and cloud computing? To begin with, if you can well, let I mean, me know. The most important initiatives in that space, so which we have, is uh, APS standard, okay. which is an open packaging standard for ISVs. Mm -hmm. which helps them to package applications once um, and uh, uh, to make it immediately uh, serviceable by a wide variety of service providers who support the standard. And, and to service providers, obviously, it helps them to make the infrastructure uh, once ready for all applications which are packaged with APS. So APS is really the main thing which we're doing. Um, that's an initiative which we support. It's an open standard. You know, we will launch an independent organization which will govern it. Uh, uh, you know, on, on the flip side, we are definitely supporting the APS standard in all of our automation and virtualization software. So can you, you give me a few tips as to what strategies you, you guys are heading towards? Is there anything else you're working towards in the next couple of years, next 12 months? No, it's quite interesting, but, you know, I keep repeating this, that uh, this industry is <laughs> quite uh, uh, rekind and sleaze. It's kind of slow in right. a way. It's not slow. It's actually fast. But it kind of builds up momentum and spreads it evenly. If in any industry, you typically have the pop things happening this way. Mm -hmm. And here, it's kind of smooth. Mm -hmm. So you build up your customer base, and it pays you over a long period of time. So you don't have immediate revenue growth or huge changes. It kind of evolves. Slowly. And so 12 months is really slow. Yeah. I mean, it's really short. It's not, not much going to change. but. We will definitely see more and more applications offered to small businesses from the cloud, and we believe that uh, the economic uh, situation will accelerate. Yeah, that was kind of my next question. Uh, how will this economic situation uh, change uh, the model of cloud computing? Well, I think it uh, definitely makes it more relevant. Mm -hmm. I do think, however, that uh, right now uh, there are two things which are happening. Uh, uh, one of them is that uh, um, the actual usage of cloud computing is growing very rapidly. So when people are making the decisions that they need certain application or certain service, if they can get it from the cloud, they can pay for it monthly in more flexible fashion, and, and they can make it simpler for them, faster deployment, they're using it from the cloud. On the other side, a uh, certain large portion of the uh, cloud computing service plans is sold to customers who don't use them right now. Mm -hmm. And, and it just used to be extremely cheap, and right now, under pressure of cutting budgets, probably for a couple quarters, you will get an adjustment that it, it, you know, customers will only be paying for that for what they actually use it. Mm -hmm. And if you look at our partners, you see both trends. On one side, they get a certain revenue pressure because many of the unused subscriptions are getting to be starting to be unpaid, and and then. Uh, on the other side, they get a lot of more, a lot more usage and a lot more used subscriptions. So, uh, on but at the end of the day, it's gross. At the end of the day, it's, it's gross. Right, gross. Well, how, what kind of tips can you give service providers to kind of battle the big giants like Google, for example? Support I, APS standard. Support APS standard. And okay. offer critical applications. I think one there are few critical applications. One of them is business class email and collaboration. Mm -hmm. It's very important to offer business class email and collaboration. Uh, general business line applications, hosted desktops, virtual infrastructure, enable uh, a channel. It's very important because that's one of the uh, part of the hosting community actually um, owns and hosts the infrastructure, but there is a very large part which is just the resellers. Mm -hmm. And those resellers, if they are not well supported, may run away to giants and they will carry their customers with them. Also support ISVs. It's another thing which is quite important. A very large portion of SMB community is actually uh, buying from ISVs. And, and the ISVs uh, may, un unless they get a proper support, may start developing their applications on top of the, uh, on top of the uh, other people's infrastructure, and they will move their customers together with them. Good. Good advice. So how long are you here in Germany for? Well, I'm actually leaving day after tomorrow. Day after tomorrow. And what's next for you? I mean, you're always around the world. Uh, I'm always going interested. Going to London, then I'm going to, to Seattle. To Seattle, the same route. The same route, yeah, and then yeah. San Francisco. Yeah, you're a busy man. Yeah. Yeah. 
Good. Well, thank you very much for joining me today. Really appreciate it. Thank you. And uh, best of luck in uh, your trips to London and Seattle and everywhere else. Thanks.